what is going on guys my name is affected Ryan and today I have something a little different for you I actually in one of my videos I said that I would definitely love to help you guys out with some settings some microphone settings and you know what since then I've been getting a load of PMs on YouTube a load of PMs on um, well even emails and on Yosh uh, with that and color correction settings so I figured I'd make a quick vid and maybe help you guys out now I'm not a pro but I'm definitely willing to show you some basic shit now I apologize my computer is a piece of trash so I can't really show you exactly what's happening while I do it but what I'm gonna do is at the end I'm gonna give you this clip here with my commentary over it with before me doing all the settings that I'm going to show you and then I'm gonna go ahead and right after that give you the after clip so hopefully you guys enjoy this and yeah let's go ahead and just get started now there's a couple things that I do and hopefully I don't go too fast for you and if I do well speed up man come on the first thing I like to do is my raw video file right here it's a very quick like eight or nine six ten second looking thing right here all I'm gonna do with this is I'm going to like I said all my color correction and Sony Vegas settings now this is gonna be the same for probably I think it's like seven all the way to eleven I believe don't quote me on that but uh, you know most of you guys use ten anyway so here we go first thing I like doing is taking the whole clip before editing anything you go ahead and right click on it go all the way down to properties here and then you're gonna go to head to disable resample now trust me on this one guys it really does decrease the blur on your videos so just give that a shot I'm not gonna go ahead and explain everything exactly why it works the way it does but it's a, it's a really good starter it's a good palette to go ahead and work with so that's the first thing you want to do before editing anything else second you want to do before editing is go to this little square right here oh, pan crop and I have my setting already for it so I go down to new crop and that just gets rid of the black lines that were up there so and, and basically my settings right here are uh, 1239 .7 and 697.4 so if you want to go ahead and copy that, go ahead, feel free. Second thing that I do is go down to the one at the event FX right below it. I click on that bitch. It brings up this guy, and the one, the four that I do are brightness contrast. You double click on that, and then you go ahead and go to color curves. Double click on that. You move right on over, and you're going to go ahead to sharpen. Okay, and then saturation adjust. Those are the four that I use. And then you can just go ahead and hit OK. It's going to bring up the window with the things that you chose. So the first one is brightness contrast. Now I go to my preset COD right there. And this actually works for Battlefield as well, really well. So for your brightness, it's 0 0.03. Contrast is 0 0.15. And your contrast center is going to be 0 0.50. So from that, you just go ahead and move to color curves. And by the way, if you want to save it, you type in whatever you would like it to be here, and then just hit that save button, and bam, it's going to save for you. So every time you come in, you don't have to worry about putting in the numbers. You can just drag on down, and bam, there it is. Your happy Christmas, right? Color curves, a little different. doesn't really have numbers for you. So if you can see that, I hope you can see this really well. I'm going to go ahead and go down to my Call of Duty one. That's basically where I want it. Now, if you see this one, this top one right here, I know it's a piece of shit. You can't really see it. It's going to make it lighter up here you get give you some more brightness okay and down here you're gonna add your depth you're gonna get your darks and everything so if you can see and I hope you can that's about where you want it you can fiddle around with that as much as you like but that is a beautiful thing right there next time uh, we're gonna go ahead and go to sharpen now sharpen you are not doing much here I'm gonna go to my preset and it's basically 0 0.025 and it just kinda rounds out your edges a little better you know it, make, it makes it look that much better Next one, you hit this arrow here, and you're going to go to Saturation Adjust. Now, there's some big changes in here. There's my preset right there. For the amount, you're going to want 0.8500. So, 0.8500. For your center, you're going to want 6 grand. That's 0.6 thousand. Spread is going to be 0.4140. Your low is going to be 0.1920. And your high is going to be fucking nothing. It's going to be zeros. So, as soon as you're done that, and like I said, you can save all these separately and you just by typing in what you want it to be and clicking that, you can go ahead and exit out of that trash. Now, that is literally what I do for my videos, color correction wise. Uh, what I like to do for commentary style is I put my volume around 24. Um, 0.7 ish because that's just you know it does that automatically almost when I'm using my wheel to drag it down so that's that's what I do for my color correction now the second thing that I'd like to show you is audacity now in audacity I am recording on audacity right now so I'm gonna go ahead and just open it up you can see my beautiful voice right there and the things that you're gonna do are effect Okay, the first one that you're going to want to do is your bit. You know what I'm going to do? Fuck this. I'm going to make a separate video of me doing this. And then I'm going to come back and we're going to finish it off from here. And like I said, I'm going to go ahead and put it all together and throw those two videos up for you so you can compare one right after another. So that's going to be fantastic. So I will see you in one second.
Okay, I am back. It probably felt like nothing, but here we go. I'm going to go ahead and give you the audio portion of this tutorial. So right now I have Audacity and I have my B4 clip that I'm going to show you after, the before and after here. So we're going to go ahead and select this whole area here. And I'm sorry I'm new with this, so I don't fully know what I'm doing, so I'm sorry. But you're going to go all the way down to Noise Removal, and you're going to click on that, baby. And you're going to click on the button on the top saying Get Noise Profile. Now what that's going to do is it's going to listen to all that crap in there, all the clicks and everything, and it's going to go ahead and take that out of your actual recording. So after that, you're going to go up to Edit, Select All. That's going to be your whole audio file, and then you're going to go back to Effect, and go back once again to Noise Removal. Now up here you have Noise Reduction at 24, your Sensitivity at Zip, Frequency Smoothing at 150, and Attack at 0.15. Your noise should be selected, no isolate. And after you got all that done, go ahead and click OK. The thing is that these are going to be probably the normal settings. Like I said, not a huge pro, but I'm just trying to give you guys a little bit of a hand. After that, you're still selected with everything. Go back to Effect and hit Bass Boost. Now, it should be at Frequency 200 and Boost. I don't know what it's at. I go anywhere between 8 and 10, depending on the day. Uh, usually 10 for me. That's just how I enjoy it. So go ahead and click OK after that. And then once again, still selected with everything. Back to Effect and go all the way down to compressor. Now your settings for compressor should be threshold at minus 12 decibels, noise floor at minus 40, ratio 2 to 1, your attack time is 0.2 seconds, and DK time is 1 second. Makeup gain should be checked and compressed beyond peaks should not. Like I said, maybe normal could just be already set up for you, but just want to double check. I want to make sure you guys got the right settings that I enjoy using. So click OK after that. And then once again, guys, back to effect. And the last one you're going to do is go all the way down to normalize. Now in normalize, your remove any DC should be checked. Normalize maximum should be checked. And in that box there should be minus 1.0 decibels. Normalize should not be checked. And hit OK. So there you go. That is basically all the audio you need. You want to drag that again. You can delete that. Get rid of it because you're not using it. Same thing with the end. If you add some random shit, you're going to go up to file, export if you don't know Audacity, and you're going to just export that to wherever you like. And happy Christmas. That's exactly what you want to do for your audio. So guys, I want to thank you a lot for stopping by the video. I'm going to share a little bit of a trick video with my dog after this because that's how I roll. But directly after this, I will give you the before and the after of what we did. Hopefully I was able to help you guys out. Yosh Recruits, thanks a lot for suggesting suggesting such a thing to me. I got my upload going on right here now. So here we are. And as always, you guys, have a fantastic night. What is going on, guys? My name is Affected Ryan, and I'd like to thank you a lot for stopping by Yelch Recruits, checking out my little informational video, and I hope it helps you out. You guys have a fantastic night. What is going on, guys? My name is Affected Ryan, and I'd like to thank you a lot for stopping by Yelch Recruits, checking out my little informational video, and I hope it helps you out. You guys have a fantastic night.